Child equals heart equals soul. The overlooked simplicity. I have never talked heart to heart with a single person who hasn't admitted that the child was still there within him, struggling perhaps, or a distant dream from the past, but still there. All of us continue to dream dreams and wonder about soft things. The heart of us still goes leaping through the high places of imagination occasionally and soars with the high flying swallows to see the far side of the moon. That is the child at work. Yes, the child still lives. Moreover, this inner one the old, new child of us is healthy and well, absolutely all right in every way. None of its enthusiasm has been dulled by the years. Its eyesight is as sharp as an eagle's, its hearing keen as a puppy's, and all the feelings of youth are pounding with excitement, exactly as they did when we were children, children, unencumbered by the world. Much has been said about the heart of us. Great theological positions have been established around the immortal soul. Reader, listen with the heart of yourself for a minute. The little child of us, the heart of us, and the soul of us are the same one. Whatever we have come to perceive with the heart has been a recognition of that eternal child within. And now, as I write of this one, I address the heart, the soul, with which we are all concerned. Oh yes, the heart and soul of us, the child, is still right here, quite capable of confirming itself, evidencing itself, and revitalizing our view of everything. As the years pass, and the world encroaches relentlessly, we lose sight of this original nature or identity, except as an old photograph or a memory etched somewhere in an inaccessible past. It comes as a surprise to hear that the original child and all its feelings are still around. Then it comes as a wonderment to learn firsthand that they are not inaccessible at all, but still right here, closer than breathing, closer than fingers and toes. There is an ageless mystery in our ability to find identity. As one reads these words about the child, the heart knows this is the truth, a truth hidden all these years in simplicity and childlikeness that we have left behind. When we are alone, we still play the child's game. While we are walking and driving or puttering with the pots, there is some little thing we do in the mind's eye exactly as we did as a child. There are ships and ports and storms at sea when we wash the dishes or take a bath. Don't tell me you don't know what I'm talking about. Deep inside you do. You see, I am the child too. The same child, and I have become it again. I know by God, by the grace of God, what I'm writing here. And I know that the first step in feeling the joys of the real, as we did as children, is to acknowledge that the original nature of us hasn't left us.